It's a perfect day at the Tremont Farmer's Market at Lincoln Park. Hundreds gather to browse and choose from a large variety of products and produce. A perfect day for shopping and a good day to learn about how to build your own rain barrel. Putting on the demonstration was Amy from the Cuyahoga County Soil and Water Conservation District. 60% of our municipal water supply goes to water in our lawns. 60%, that's a huge amount of the water we spend, uh, that we spend on during the summer. You're protecting your local watershed. There's 70 million pounds of fertilizers and pesticides that are put on our lawns each year. So you're helping out with that to kind of cut that down. And again, natural gardening. The water that you're keeping in here, plants love rainwater. The water that comes out of our tap is fantastic for us because it's clean, obviously, it's, you know, but it's got chlorine and fluoride in it. Plants don't like that. And what you're doing when you water it with the water that comes out of your tap is you are killing the, any beneficial microbes that are in your soil. So you, again, get into the cycle of fertilizing. So it's just like this domino effect that happens. You use rainwater, your plants are going to be really, really happy about it. Um, the system that we use, a lot of people have questions about mosquitoes. Our system does not, should not, I'm not going to, should not um, attract any mosquitoes because it is a closed system. Occasionally check it because these don't have the little holes on the top. You might get a little collecting water up here, just kind of wipe it off. Um, mosquitoes take a little while to go through their life cycle. Um, you've seen rain barrels, there's tons of different ways to make them. These don't have an open top, so they shouldn't have, mosquitoes should not be able to breed in here. You can add a second or third, I know some of you are doing that tonight, and I'll show you how to do that. You can add a second or third barrel onto your system. These are going to fill up really, really fast. I have one on my house, and within one rain it's filled up, and I know it would be, I could have two or three barrels right there, and it would, it would fill up in no time. That big rain we had last Saturday probably could have filled up several barrels right there. And I use it all the time. I have a little soaker hose hooked to mine. Take the filter out of the soaker hose so you get some more pressure. And I just turn it on when the water, I have mine right in my garden. And when the, it gets a little dry, I just turn it on, it waters it. I don't even have my hose hooked up at home. Um, you can't drink the water from your barrel. Again, it's coming off of your roof. So, um, you know, you're going to get some maybe little particulates. You get birds, you know, do their business on your roof. So don't drink it. I wouldn't feed it to your pets either. It's just not recommended. Um, you can paint your barrels. These are nice because they're white. Sometimes we get those big blue ones like they have over here. Um, this is the paint. It's Krylon Fusion. Anything that will adhere to plastic is what you can use. Um, I've seen these go through a cycle of a year and it was in the sun and it kind of cracked. But then I've heard other people who've had no problem with it whatsoever. So let me know. You know, if you paint it, let me know how you do with it. That's true. He said whether or not you clean the barrel before you paint it. You shouldn't have to use a primer with this, but at least clean it off. You know, make sure it's clean so it would adhere to it nicely.